Uh, what percentage of the NBA could you beat in a fight? I don't know. Honestly, no, nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to fight. Everybody, everybody just wants to bark, vibe. All bark, no yeah. bite. Everyone wants to just vibe, get paid. I can beat Ryan up. Ooh, I would beat the out Ryan. I can beat TJ McCollin up. <laughs> Ooh. TJ is one of those guys I feel like, like, you're not, like, you can't just win. Like, you got to, you got to kill him. Like, he's not going to stop. There's something wrong with you, bro. No, but I'm saying, like, yeah. he's no, not no, going to no, no, stop. No, no. Like, he's, like, There's on the court, he's, like, you, a bro. pest. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he'll turn the ball over, then he'll pick you up, ninety, like, 94 feet. Like, he does it all the time. So, I feel like fighting, like, he's not going to stop. Like, he's, like, you just got to You have legit issues. Put him down. Like, legit. I'm so happy that they're seeing this. That's what I would say. Let me, can I amend this question slightly? If you're about to walk down a dark alley, who are the three NBA players you want by James your side? Johnson. James Johnson. Fact, black that's my guy. James the fact Johnson. that you guys said that so quick in unison. James Johnson. James Johnson pack your ass up real quick. Who else? Um, that's in the league right now. Um, I would say this. We've, we've all seen the mad. Julius Randle. Ooh, True. Juju. We've all seen him mad. I'm taking Funaki Paya, Steven Adams. I'm taking yeah. Steve-O. Because Steve-O, like, dog, this dude, he he's one of the strongest people I've I've ever I've ever witnessed. So it's like, he's not even going to, like, like, whoop you. Like, he's just going to, like, he, like, you're just not going to be able to do anything to him. Like, it's. I would have said Boban, but we all witnessed him get killed with a book. Yeah, no, no, that's, so, no, that's, that's not. What good. about what about so, no, Bobby Portis? Ooh, Bobby Portis is a very BP is a good one. I would I I never played with Steve Adams, so I don't. As Josh's pick, I would pick Bobby. Yeah, Bobby's a good I'll one. I pick Bobby. Yeah, hundred percent. But he had a when they're in the Pacers, he has the look on his face. The look, the look, like, the look, oh look make God. you run away. Yeah, yeah, Bob, like, Bobby, that's right there. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby's hilarious, yeah. dog. Then I know you mentioned earlier that having Josh around allows you guys to feed off each other and it kind of gives the team energy. Do you ever worry about, is it hard to not come off as like a Villanova, like kind of click because there's so many of you guys, like, is it hard to make it so that other people feel welcome in the, in the, in the vibe and all that? I would say in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Because we had, um, it's intimidating if you're another player, we have all those guys in the locker room, but, um, but ever since Vill like Villanova, like whenever someone new comes into our locker room, it's always like we welcome them. It's never like, all right, we're gonna keep you like here until like you conform to us. Like no, like we're gonna welcome you no matter what. And so, when all of us are in the locker room now, it's it was kind of that feeling in the beginning, maybe, but uh, we literally just try and keep everyone like involved in what we do, what we say, all our conversations. Um, like we don't. We don't act like a click. We really, we truly don't even hang out. Really, like we, we all kind of go our separate ways, and we see. We do. We'll do some yeah. things, like we'll go to dinners and stuff like that. But um, truly, like we just try. Obviously, we gel to each, towards each other, and we kind of all been through a lot. Know know how each other are, but um, we don't really exclude anybody. Like, every, no. like we always talk to like. Everyone in the locker room, we always say stuff. We always throw conversations out. We keep everyone yeah. involved. It's it's never really been, like, a click for us. Yeah. Mm -mm. And it's, it's cool just because, like, for the guys on the team, we have, like, we have all have, like, real cool, like, dope personalities, high character dudes. So it's it, it's cool. Obviously, we had it um, last year at the beginning of the year. And obviously, um, you know, we made a trade and, our, you know, sent RJ and, and Quick, you know, to Toronto. Um, and then we got OG, um, Akachua, uh, and, and, and Malachi. Um, so we got those guys. So it was, it was cool in terms of you had two dudes who are good locker room guys, good personalities. They, you know, obviously they left and then you always are a little, not worrisome, but you're always like, you never know what's going to happen with the guys coming in. But luckily, um, those dudes kind of they kind of fit right in in terms of just like the fun you know the the fun uh loving nature in the locker room um jalen is a a culture changer um you know probably <laughs> one of the best culture changes i ever i ever been around um for various reasons 
Um, his locker room presence. Locker room presence is is great. So he really <laughs> immediately he felt, uh, you know, he led, um, you know, Malachi, uh, you know, Agachua and and Anna, Anna Badovi, you know, <laughs> he made them feel welcome immediately, and um, that's his his charm. Can you confirm? I cannot confirm nor deny. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs>